Okay, so this is the first of what is gonna be many videos while I'm on my mini staycation at home. Um, what I want to do today is deal with my seedlings. Um, they're doing fantastic. They've been in these cell trays like 20 days now, but it's still too hot for them to go outside. Looks like we're gonna have like a sweet spot next week, um, Thursday and Friday, where the lows are gonna be like mid upper 50s. What? It's gonna be like 55 or 56 degrees in the morning and then only like 84, 85 in the afternoon. That's when these might go outside. But for right now, they need to be potted up. Um, should I pot them up for just like to stay in those pots for one week? I think so. I do, I think so, because just in case I'm not comfortable putting them outside, they can still keep going. I'm just going through this in my head right now as I'm talking. Also, today I will be separating out Swiss chard. So, this is the Ford Hook Swiss chard. And then I finally got some celebration to germinate. It wasn't germinating outside because I had to germinate it in this tiny little pot with a lid on it. So I guess my seeds were drying out outside because in this pot, they germinated fine. And look at those pretty colors. They're like rainbow. Onions, I'm gonna be separating, look at these crazy onions. I'm gonna be separating all of these individual onions into cells, so. Okay, so here's some of what I have. I have these larger ones that I save for when I buy, uh, you know, plants at the garden center. I save the trays, um, but I have all these little, little bitty individuals um, that I can load up. I think I have another one of these uh, black trays outside. Um, so in the last um, video I did here in the kitchen, you saw me pouring um, boiling hot water into my seed starting mix. And I do that for two reasons. One is seed starting mix um, has a lot of peat moss in it and peat moss can be very hydrophobic, which means it does not want to absorb water. Um, but that hot boiling water, the peat moss takes it up immediately. Like you don't even have to let it soak. You just stir it around, it has soaked up that water. So that's one. And also two <laughs> is um, fungus gnat eggs and any other whatever else might be in that seed starting mix kills it dead killed anyway also i'm using a shish kebab skewer to do all my separating because it has a nice pointy tip so i can be a little more precise in the separating and in the uh, pushing into the holes okay here we go two cute little decorative pots for my pelagoniums um so i'll probably pot those up first this is called geranium maverick quicksilver so it is not a true geranium it is a pelagonium which is a zonal geranium Ooh. oh yes look at that <gasps> look how big it is that's fantastic yeah it was just like two little leaves when we put it in there there's the roots nice okay that is the cutest thing cute There's the second one. Looks beautiful. Gosh, these look so good. And they were so easy. And no, I haven't started more seeds yet. I know, I know. Work has been so busy, and honestly, it's been stressing me out, which is why I took a week off work and not go anywhere. I just wanna be right here. I just wanna be right here with my plants. I wanna zone out and geek out with my plants and not have to worry about anything related to property management at all. Nothing. Okay. Ooh. So 20 days, a little over two weeks, they've been in these pots. Look at all that root. That's beautiful. That's a dead leaf. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. This is cordobue. It's a cordobue cabbage. I don't have a whole lot of seed starting mix, but when I was at Walmart last week, I did get a bale of peat moss. And I know all the peat moss is not renewable and not sustainable. And I know, but it was easy. It was $11 and I'm sorry. Okay, there, that's one. Look at the roots on that one. So when they're this root bound, not all of them were quite this bad, but I think I'm just gonna loosen that up just a little bit. Um, I don't think cabbages are as sensitive as like peas with having their roots disturbed, 
but I just wanna make sure that that guy continues to grow in the new container. So just a little bit. Okay, here's the Rober cauliflower. Isn't that pretty? I don't have as many cauliflowers, so I think definitely, um, definitely I'm gonna be starting more cauliflower for sure. I think we're gonna eat more cauliflower than cabbage. Um, this winter or spring, whenever the cabbage are ready, I do wanna try making my own um, sauerkraut because that's delicious. So we might try that. Also, before I turn the camera back off again, uh, um, the cabbage took up most most of these new cells. Not all of them, most of them. And then I have some other containers that I can put uh, the Romanesco broccoli in. These other uh, large things here, this is the Romanesco, um, which probably put them in here. Yeah, I have three. I have three of these. Okay, so plenty, plenty. I am gonna have to go get the peat moss though because I have run out of starter uh, seed starting mix, um, which is fine. So let me go get the peat moss. So this is the peat moss that I got from Walmart. It's just been up here on the back porch. I'm sure you've all seen peat moss. There it is. It's gonna fill up this pot. All right. That water soaks in right away. Like that peat moss is instantly wet. There is no hydrophobia when you have boiling hot water. And I have exactly 12 cells here um, for the Romanesco. And according to my sign, I have 12 Romanesco. So I think this is gonna work out perfect. I'm really excited about it. Okay. Look at these roots. These roots are crazy. Like it's been just a little over two weeks. Very pleased. See, that one did not root in as well at all. Completely completely different situation. Look at that. Barely rooted in at all. I mean, it still looks good, but ooh. This one has a lot of purple on the stem. Isn't that pretty? This one is so awkward and floppy. I'm gonna bury it extra deep. That, that's crazy. This is what's left. Um, I will be transferring most of these into different pots. But before I do that, I wanna go over the seedlings of the uh, seeds that I planted that day, uh, September 3rd. So these were all just baby, just little seeds, September 3rd. And now they are wild and woolly beasts. First, first row here is the Snowball Y. And I've got one, two, three, four, five seedlings. Next is the Catskills Brussels sprout. Um, let's see. Looks like I got two, uh, three, four, uh, five. This is a big one. Six, another big one. Seven, another big one. So seven of the Brussels sprouts. Next row, Waltham 29 broccoli. See, not many. Looks like we have one very tall floppy one, two a little bit floppy, three, four. There's two here. So four. So we're going to get more seedlings going basically of all of these. Uh, the Sun King Hybrid Broccoli. Looks like there's two, two in the cell, three four and five, so five. Vanilla Sky Hybrid Cauliflower has done the worst, the absolute worst. I have one recognizable seedling and it's sad. Basically, complete disappointment. Everything's basically coming out of this tray. I just need to pot it up into different trays. And what I wanna do 
never mind my wine. It's delicious, by the way. It's a dark red blend. Um, all of the onions and all of the Swiss chard, I want to get loaded into these smaller trays so they can start growing on. All of these will get potted up. I do have some more of these um, and some more of these. So I'll be potting up everything that's in here. Okay, so it's another day. My husband's in the living room watching dance walls, so. So that you don't have to hear all that background noise, I'm gonna put on some music and we are going to pot up the Swiss chard and the onions. Probably onions first. We're gonna do the onions first. I wanna see if I, how much of this I can fill with uh, this yellow Granex PRR which I realized that if I was in Vidalia, Georgia, this is what they used for the Vidalia onions. Fun fact, but I'm not in Georgia, so it doesn't count. Um, and then the Texas Grano 502. I am in Texas, so this is a Texas Grano. Okay, anyway. Hold on, what is this? Yellow Granex PRR, got 48 of them. Um, I only had a few casualties. We've got like maybe three. This is a 72 count tray, so I don't have many left. I think I'm gonna go with the uh, celebration for the rest of the cells. back under the lights and um, I'm quite full <laughs> this is all the room I have um, I did not have uh, time or room to do these onions or these Swiss chard here so I think they're gonna get uh, these are gonna get direct sewn tomorrow after I finish cleaning out the uh, potage beds these are gonna go in these are gonna go in and then these are gonna go in the cell trays because I only have so much room. So all these uh, all these babies are going outside. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.